Hello and welcome to Dix. Is it seven, six, seven, seven episode maybe of the Great American Farming Map? Um, so you be, if you remember correct, you remember from last time we had a bit of a problem because um, I couldn't get uh, I couldn't get the bale to work. I wouldn't bail the grass we cut mode uh, and. I couldn't really understand why, so I did figure it out because uh, the bale I used, I did try different balers, a few different square balers and all same with the same results. And then I realized it's probably something with grass and hay. So I'm going to show you. If we look at here is our string of grass. Um, I will I have this uh, tether mod I bought a coon. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but uh, it's in the description. Anyway, um, so this tether will turn our nice grass cotton into hay. And when you after you turn it into heat and then you bale it with a baler, it works. Get square bales. So that was the problem. I was trying to bear uh, bale grass with square bale and I couldn't take grass, make grass bales. I'm not sure if you can even make grass bales with a square baler. You can do it with a round baler, uh, but it didn't seem to work with the square baler. So that was the problem. And none of the balers I tried worked. So I bought this uh, coon tether. Uh, so we have a mower and a cat tether, and uh, we need a pair square baler. Um, not exactly sure which one to get, but I'm thinking. I, I don't. Really, I we had a, had a class uh, quadrant. What's it called? Class Quadrant uh, 1200. Uh, I found a nice uh, other quadrant model called the Quadrant to 2200. Uh, that worked very nicely. And I tried it out. And it looks good. It's cheap. Pretty cheap. We could buy it. Uh, oh, we can't buy it now. We don't have enough money. But a bit when we get more money again, we could buy it. Um, um, I did take out a loan because we had so few cows. So now we have. Uh, look, no, not look here. We have 33 cows, and uh, I also changed the setting on the automatic mixing station because it kept well, <laughs> the cows kept running out of food. So productivity would, would be 100% and I saw it went down to almost zero, like 10% I think. And I really wanted them to keep having something to eat. So I, it's now it's the setting is, they, it will feed 38 cows. I don't have 38, only 33. 38 cows it can feed your food. And I will see how that work out, works out if it gives it enough mood to uh, food to manage through the night and will raise the productivity somewhat. Uh, and we'll see, maybe I'll have to lower it because they will have too much food over, uh, left over. Uh, but that's a future problem. So, so we uh, turned our little field here into hay. We would probably need some sort of um, windrow. But I'm not sure exactly what which one to get. That's also a money matter. It seems like I really need money now in the beginning. Quite a large loan. Have no money. We'd like to get both a baler and a uh, 
also through the either end uh, windrow. But I think we'll look at renting one baler. Let's see, bail, bail. bailing technology here. So this is the class quadrant 2200. So that's six six. Uh, we could almost went well, just a tiny bit more money. We could rent it. So I think we'll just temporarily take out the loan. So we can rent that. It. it will show up over here I think yeah. for some reason uh, so I just wanted to show you this baler uh, links are in the descriptions as I said um, looks really nice yeah, it works perfectly when you turn grass into hay which I didn't before but I did it this time Oh, that would have to turn the right way. It's a good thing I don't drive cars like I drive tractors in the farming simulator because my car would be so smashed up. So X to unfold. That is nice. Oh, I'm bumpy. Um, if, if you look at agri affairs, these aren't that expensive. They're a few years old. From uh, I guess the newest one I saw was 2003 maybe. Most of them are older than that. We'll go up and start with this one over here that we started before. So uh, I think the oldest one was in the are from 2001. It would be great if we had like a string of hay, but that doesn't. Uh, it, this works too. So here we do have our first, maybe 4,000 liters. Here it comes. down this field a few times to get some square bales and then we can use our nice little trailer to get them back to our farm since the trailer has automatic loading we don't have to bother with the uh, skid steer that's nice This is probably not the way it's done in real life. I'm guessing because you will take forever and ever. So the animations on this is really cool. If you look into the machine, you can see a lot of animations in there. Lights, yes, with lights. Thinking lights too. Uh, I'm not sure if we have some sort of counter. That would be nice. Um, let's keep it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. You see, that's the thread, and there's the machine. Okay, that's this side too. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Really cool. So that's a really cool uh, mod that I can recommend. It works and it doesn't drive. <laughs> the older class quadrant 1200 was really slow. I think it drove around like 7 kilometers or something. 7 10 kilometers, which is quite slow. This one at least is 14, 15. Which makes it go a little, a little bit bearable. So I might. When I have money, I might buy this builder because it's very nice. See. Otherwise, the crony um, builder that was in the mod contest is uh, one of the most the best builders out there. It's a round builder. We had them both have to fill, buy and fill netting, and you have to buy and fill the wrapping for the silo. The silage bales and it runs out, so you have to refill it. So, it's wonderful, it's really realistic as far as uh, it's, it's realistic as you probably can get in this game. It's October. October means release date for Farming Simulator 2017. And it will be interesting to see when it goes on, if it goes on as timed and how it is. Hopefully it's pretty free of bugs. Bugs. Bug free. You say bugs. Swedish, you say bugs. Or computer things. Oh, just at work today I discovered a bug in our software. So, um, I went in to fill uh, like, uh, different areas you fill in with text and I, I was going to fill in one area, so I did that. And then I filled them in the other areas and then I wanted to go back to the first area to fill it in again and I couldn't write anything in the box. So I tried writing in other boxes and the other one, other boxes worked perfectly, no problem. But this one box I can so I restarted the software, no difference. I restarted started the computer, no difference. So there's a bug that lets me write one time in this box and the next time you try to write in it doesn't allow you to write in or change it or remove it or anything. So I stuck so I had to print paper and write it by hand. My handwriting is really terrible. Well I guess it's more important that it's right than my handwriting abilities. So up a few down a few more times. It has this twi twitch is done and it does, I'm not sure why. Whoop. That one popping around. Mm, otherwise it's a really good failure. Like it. I can like it a lot. So if we're going to do this sort of bailing and and this sort of activity, I think we will probably get a windrower so I can actually put this into one nice line and pick it up instead of having to go across a large flat area. And if you, you might notice this then in the upper right corner, there's an 8, which means I have changed uh, the soil mod settings for in-game days for every cycle. So I changed it, changed it to 10. The reason why I did that is because primarily this map will be a dairy farm map. And to have three in-day games between every harvest makes dairy operations... Well, you don't do it very much day dairy operations and you you, sh you just do a lot of arable. So I wanted to do sure I get enough time doing um, doing dairy operations so I changed the settings a bit. Also changed the uh, uh, interval of the weed from zero to five days, so half the cycle. 
So we'll see if what turns out. Well, that's pretty, pretty big amount of bales actually in that small area. So that's good. Have to jump out and see the bale. Four thousand quality eight. That's actually pretty good money. Eight sixty four for the bale. But I'm not sure I have a sell point. Do I have a sell point? No, I actually do think I have a sell point down somewhere. Was a biomass heating plant, perhaps around there somewhere. I can probably sell. I can pick up a load and try to sell to see what happens. Because that's pretty good money. You can sell it for that amount of money, so 800. You can probably get some money back. Now, 800, I know, 864, was it for a bale of hay? It's not very realistic. So maybe I should just keep them and feed them to my animals. Because it's not silent, it's hay. Get pretty much money, good money for high silage, but it seems weird to get that almost the same sort of money for hay. I mean, the only thing I did with it was to tether it, turn it into hay. I don't think a hay bill isn't that expensive in, a, in reality. So squeezing between here, that won't work. Oh, actually, it did work. last piece so there's still quite a lot of stock into the in oh my that's bad don't hit the bales so we'll put this in our nice little shed and we'll go and collect the bales and see how many we get that's interesting i'm curious of, of how many we will get I think it's over by... Oh, it's in shed here. Interesting, because this looks more like hay grass. Or did it look the same? Maybe it looked the same. set to a square bale so it works so we'll go and pick these up we go and go in 25 so we'll, and sometimes when you go over bumps and downhills it will pass 25 so setting at 23 usually makes it work a lot better Bales is pretty good for such a small area, I think at least. We want to go in. Ah, I'm gonna go sell it, see what happens. Just curious how, how, how much you get. Maybe the price isn't correct at all. 
Maybe you don't get that sort of price of oh, profit from them. But I'm, I'm curious. Go sell it, see what happens. So let's see the sell point was the thing. Maybe it was here. This looks like a sell point for hey, looks like it disappears. So it didn't really work. <laughs> sort of worked. Load it. Uh, B. So maybe it's here. Okay, so. B. Okay, that was somewhat unrealistic, but we'll take advantage of that and. Uh, lower our loans a bit. We have much thing, a lot of things we want to invest in in the future. We want to invest in, we want to buy uh, some sort of manure spreader, uh, spreader, and then we need to buy a slurry, slurry tanker. I have this beautiful slurry tanker over here. It's called. Kawako, very nice, and focusing uh, system to hook it up so I can spread it over a big area. And I think that will work pretty good. So, um, but that will be for the future. Firstly, we need to. Uh, I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this base too. And then I'm going to. So I'll sell these four bales and then I'll go back with the trailer to the farm and I'll have a look, look at our cows here, how they're doing. And uh, maybe speed it up a bit so we can go to the next feeding. Uh, I noticed one thing if you use this, uh, if you use the mod that makes the time goes really fast, like 12,000 times this time. Uh, with the control R button, then you will um, have a problem that the mixing station doesn't feed the animals. So if you just you need to make go up to the point of the, the times you set for the feeding and then let it do its thing. Otherwise, it will not not feed the cows, which will make them hungry and really unproductive. So let's see, unload. So that's good. We could reduce our loans a little bit more. So we have 20,000 in loan. Which is still pretty much. But a few days with good milk production, we'll have that down to uh, nothing again. And then we'll have to buy slurry equipment and manure spreading equipment again. So uh, we'll probably get a loan again. So anyway, the field fields uh, three and one are seeded. I would like to buy pretty soon. I'd like to buy field four and two, 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 for two and field four, because then I could expand our uh, arable area a little bit, uh, and we could get more production in. Let's see uh, this one. I think I put in here. a big tractor especially with the dual wheels and both that so 
will go and park this. I did use a little bit of food. Oh, also, the oh, uh, our silage is done over here, so we don't have to buy silage. We have uh, quite a lot of 200,000 or something that we can use and sell. Not sell. Well, we could sell it, but I mean, we can use it for our animals. So that's pretty good. We just park this beautiful beasts over here. Yeah. Turn it off. Excellent. So today we have uh, bailed a bit, so we can. I think our screenshot for this episode will be our beautiful baler, our class quadrant. Twenty-two hundred. So anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show and um, till next time. Take care. Bye bye.